Hello, crafty friends. Welcome. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have some really fun dies that I want to show you in today's video. This was a collaboration between Simon Hurley and Spellbinders. I'm going to show you a few of the products from this uh, collection, and then I'm going to make three cards with these. So let's start out with this little floral set. It's called In Bloom. And these make up some really cutesy looking flowers. They're not very realistic looking, but they're just adorable. You get two different florals that you can make up with this set, and then you get some greenery. The next set is called Everyday Sentiments. These are a nice size to put on your cards. I'm going to show you all of the words cut out in just a minute. But this is a really nice set to have in your stash. And of course, it has the shadow dies that you can put behind them if you'd like. And then last, I have the Brilliant Butterflies. I have a few sets of butterfly dies in my stash already. I like using butterflies on my cards, but they're not one of my favorite things to put on my cards. However, I have to say that these create the most dainty and delicate looking butterflies. <laughs> Let me show you. I just love how these are designed. It's hard to tell what they look like when all you have is the die. So once I started cutting these out, I was just very pleasantly surprised with how gorgeous these are. Let me show you one close up. This one I cut out with some dark plum colored cardstock. And then most of them I cut out with black. But I also cut out one with a forest green. But just lovely butterflies. And here are the sentiments. So they say, birth, happy birthday. Let me find the happy. Here it is. Hugs, thinking of you. And then we have a hello. Thanks, and then you even have a thank you. And I cut, oh, and we also have love, which you can use love you. And I cut them out with white cardstock and glued them onto black cardstock, the shadow piece. So those, I just love the shape of those. Okay, so let's start out with the floral pieces here. They are all cut out, and they're very simple to put together. One flower is going to be pink and the other one kind of an orangey yellow. Before I start gluing these together, however, I want to add a little bit of ink or blend on a little bit of ink to these blooms. These also have some really pretty etched detail to them. And then you get some leaves, you get a stem, and a leaf that attaches to the stem. Okay, so let's start out by adding some darker pink to this light pink cardstock. This step is unnecessary, but I think it does add a cute factor to it. But if you just want to put them together as is, it's going to look adorable no matter what you do. Okay, and then I have a darker piece of pink cardstock, and I'll add some ink to that one as well. I'm using some Simon Hurley inks, and I love these. I've had my eye on them for a while. But they are really exceptional inks. They blend so beautifully and smoothly. And I really love the colors. I don't have all of the inks yet, but I'm going to start collecting all of them. I'm going to glue everything down flat. I'm not adding any foam squares or dimension. Ever since I watched um, Christina Werner's video about mailing out envelopes, I'm more conscious about making sure that they're going to go to the recipient without any problems and making sure I have enough postage on them, making sure they're not thicker than a fourth of an inch, which a lot of my cards are really thick, and that will be more expensive to post. So I think a lot of the cards I'm going to be creating will be a lot flatter and just easier to post. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing to the second flower, just adding a little bit of ink around the edges. And then I can glue them together. And then there's one last little piece. This just goes in the center, and you know exactly where to put it because it follows along the lines of the die cut under it. I'm going to add some Clear Skies ink to this panel, and I cut this out with a fluted edge rectangle die. I 
just like to have a little touch of blue behind my flowers sometimes. I'll glue this green stem onto the yellow flower. And then I'll put a little bit of glue behind this bloom and glue that down first. That way I can make sure that my pink flower overlaps the stem so it looks like they're connected. The glue is nice too, of course, because you can wiggle it around until you get it just where you want it. I went ahead and die cut everything from these three sets, as you saw when I was showing you what they look like. And it was just fun to have everything ready to go and just sit down and create these cards without having to stop and cut anything out. At last, we'll put down the sentiment. And I'm just going to tuck this in between the flowers. I'll add a few more leaves. And this is a very flat and easy card to send out into the mail. So let's glue it onto a white top folding card base. I did add a few water droplet embellishments around the flowers. I haven't used those in a really long time. And here is a close up look at the finished card. The embellishments look a little white, but they will dry clear. The glue behind them is still wet, so that's why they appear white. On card number two, we're going to make a butterfly card. I'm using a piece of purple cardstock. This is called Purple Mist, and I'm adding some purple Distress Oxide ink over it. I believe this is Villainous Potion. And then for the butterfly, I'm using some Lunar Paste. This Slippery When Wet Lunar Paste is fabulous. It's my favorite. They do have a gold Lunar Paste, but I like this one because it's just luminescent and bright. And I'm just, as you see here, I'm using my finger to rub it on. This adds some really cool texture to it. It looks more like a brushed gold once it's all dry. And this stuff dries really fast, so you don't have to wait very long to attach it to your card. I wiped everything off with a baby wipe. Now I can attach my purple panel onto the white card base. This, I left a little white border around it. My butterfly background is dry, and now I can glue this piece onto it. And again, I cut this piece out with some dark plum cardstock, so I thought it went really well with the purple panel that's going that will be behind it. And then the sentiment will say, thinking of you, and again, just gluing it down flat. But if you haven't played with the lunar pastes yet, and I know I'm very late to the party, but I'm having so much fun with the lunar paste from Simon Hurley. I really don't think you'll be disappointed with them. Okay, let's glue down the last word. And then I can glue down the butterfly. And as you saw, I just gl put glue behind the body of the butterfly and attached it to the gold shadow piece. That way I can kind of fluff up the wings and it adds some dimension to it without using foam squares. <laughs> I'm going to put some gems on each of the antenna. And then I'll add some of these gems just around the butterfly and the sentiment as well. I believe these are called Spectrum. And they're just a sparkly clear looking gem. Let's put one above the sentiment. There we go. And here is a close-up look at card number two. Just look at that gold shine. So pretty. And again, that butterfly is just exquisitely designed. So beautiful. For card number three, I'm going to start out by doing some stenciling with some black Distress Oxide ink. This is called Black Soot. This stencil comes from the wonderful Tulips stencil set. And it has such a cute look to it that I wanted to use it. I'm going to use some more black soot ink and just kind of smear it around, make it look not so stark. And I wish I didn't do this step because I liked it more crisp looking. 
I wasn't liking how this panel was turning out, so I thought I would just keep adding stuff to it. I'm adding some Bleed Proof White from Dr. Phil Martins. I love this stuff. Such a bright white. I'm just flicking it onto the panel, and I started liking it better after this. And now for the butterflies. Again, I'm just gluing the bodies down so that the wings will have some lift to them. I really love watching artists on YouTube that do the collaging and they just keep adding element on top of element on their cards. This looks so stunning. I'm not the best at that. I guess my cards have more of a clean look to them, but I sure love that collaging look. I wanted to add a little touch of color behind the butterfly's wings, so I pulled out some inks to do this. I should, probably should have done this before I glued the bodies onto the white um, outline piece, but I'm just gently lifting up the wings, and it looks blotchy when it goes down, but the, the black part of the butterfly just covers it up perfectly. You, you won't even tell that it's blotchy. And I didn't bring the color all the way out to the edges because I wanted it to remain white. I just wanted just a little touch of color. Now I can glue down the butterflies. I'm trying to fit all three of them on this A2 sized panel. And all of these butterflies I cut out with black cardstock. I'll glue the largest one down next. And then I was glad that they included a teeny little butterfly in this collection. So it's going to fit down perfectly at the bottom here. Last, I'm going to glue the sentiment on, and this is where things started going really, really wrong. <laughs> I thought my spatters were dry, and for the most part they were, but do you see that big dot on the left of the card? That wasn't dry, and you'll see here in just a second what I do. So, so far so good, and then I put my thumb on it, and I just smear it across my panel. So I had to redo it. I tried dabbing it up with a baby wipe, and the panel just started peeling. So this is a redo, and I didn't go over the stenciling with black ink, and I like that much better. It looks more crisp. Here's the first panel, and you can see how bad it started peeling when I started dabbing up that blob or that, that um, streak. And I also changed the sentiment so that the background was white and the words were black, and I like that better too. But I really had fun putting these cards together, and this is a fabulous collection. Again, it's called the Metamorphosis Collection by Simon Hurley. I hope you enjoyed this video today and were inspired. I'll have all of the links as usual in the description box if you want to check those out. Have a wonderful crafty day, my friends. Bye!